Are you getting on with that then, Josh? Yeah, it's awesome! <laughs> He's well into it. Hello, my name's Howard from Dubious Engineering. I'd like to share with you the complete build of my wooden African hardwood handheld games console made out of uh, Raspberry Pi, bullets for buttons, and a missile switch. Carry on watching and you'll see how all of this was put together and how it works. Mmm, <laughs> how does that smell? So here we are playing James Bond Jr. It's pretty good. <laughs> how are the controls? It's really responsive. It's as good as any professionally made console. That's very kind. It's way kinder than I expected. Thank you. Oh. Uh, first things first, what we needed to do was put together uh, a router inside my workbench so that I had the ability to be able to uh, create an enclosure out of the African hardwood that my friend Rory had sent me from Glasgow. Very kind of him and again uh, many thanks Rory. So as you can see that's the router in use and then what we needed to do was go ahead and get all of the components of the system test those components, make sure they all worked. There was no point in building this and then finding out that something wasn't working or something was incompatible. And then what we needed to do was start figuring out quite how and where all of those components would fit into this enclosure. And once we'd established that, it was a case of uh, making some holes in the enclosure. Now, I only had one piece of African hardwood, so as you can imagine, my heart was in my throat when I was making this, and uh, I was a little bit nervous. And, and the other thing is, I had no real experience of ever using a router before, and uh, it was a lot of fun uh, manually routing the enclosure for this. Obviously, there was a little bit of work that needed to be done uh, to clean things up. The router um, and my skills were not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, the, the other thing that uh, really, really put a smile to my face is when I put a little linseed oil on the device, uh, on the wood, it just really brought out that lovely, lovely sort of polished wood effect. So, um, once we'd established that uh, we were heading in the right direction, I then chose to use hand tools and the help of my wonderful wife uh, to uh, start uh, fitting these components in place. This is the, uh, this may be one of the last videos I put out about this particular games console. Um, as you'll see in the high speed here, uh, well, pretty much how it's all put together. Uh, just to give you a bit of a heads up, um, so it has a, an iPad battery in there driving it, um, which uses a boost converter to change the iPad battery from uh, 3.7 volts or 4.2 volts up to the 5 volts that's required by the Raspberry Pi and screen. I did need to find a decent boost converter. Um, the little 2 amp boost converter really actually didn't do 2 amps. And I think the Raspberry Pi and the screen between the two of them actually consumed a little bit more than 2 amps. So I ended up getting myself, I think it was a 4 amp boost converter. Um, there's a little audio amplifier, a couple of speakers that I've installed in there. And um, another thing you'll probably notice during the course of the high speed video here is that I actually changed out some of the, um, the, 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 the buttons. Um, originally I went with um, a, a handheld console uh, that had a little rubber um, a connector buttons, uh, like little graphite connector buttons and um, they, they were just too compliant, they really didn't work out very well. So I changed everything out for micro switches and that's made a really, really big difference to both the gameplay, uh, how everything feels, uh, you know, the controls in general. Um, so uh, yeah, anyway, uh, um, I'll stop chatting on. Uh, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the, the, the montage, the build montage and um, as I'll mention to you later, please uh, don't forget to stick your thumbs up <laughs> and, um, and subscribe and subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks very much for watching. Cheers, guys and girls.
Well, if you got all the way to the end of the video, big thumbs up to you. Well done, thank you. A thumbs up to me if you can, and subscribe. Cheers. What do you reckon of the controls? What do you reckon? Is it playable? Yeah, it works. It works really well. Actually. It works. Yeah. Cool. I don't know about Street Fighter though. No, Street Fighter. Street Fighter would be a nightmare, I'm sure. But yeah, basic games on that. Good fun, I think. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Andrew. You're welcome. You know, Gary is playing the handmade wooden console of wonderful goodness. So we need to actually figure out what we're going to call this. What are you playing, Gary? A bit crashed. Oh, don't <laughs> say things like that. <laughs> the question is, mate, does it work? It does. Awesome. Are you reasonably happy with the controls? I mean, I'm sure it's not going to be as nice as a... To be fair, these controllers are better than other ones I've used in the past. Oh, mate, that's very kind. <laughs> uh, I just totally destroyed him. Yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it.